Previously on Shotoku Tech, we were working with these XB radios, transmitting GPS data from this remote device with the GPS chip to the base unit, which was attached to a Windows 10 tablet. And we measured out a distance between these two devices up to four tenths of a mile, but I wanted to go further. So we're going to try out this LoRa board here. The FCC regulations for this type of device are essentially more stringent for the 433 MHz devices than they are for the 900 MHz devices. As you see here in this article, it states that the FCC allows companies to utilize the 900 MHz radio frequency bands in an unlicensed transmission. Again, you must not be interfering with other transmissions and you must be under the permitted signal strength and antenna specifications. Of course, look for all the links below in the description. This is the Code of Federal Regulations, Title 47, Part 15, covering radio frequency devices, whether they're intentional radio frequency devices or unintentional radio frequency devices. And you're welcome to familiarize yourself with this as well. Okay, so this is the LoRa 32 board, the 900 megahertz version. Also includes Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's got a cool display built-in and LiPo battery management. Let's take a look. First of all, it's about two inches by one inch in dimension there. There's the JST for that single cell LiPo battery. You have to install the antenna. It's got the pins for you to solder onto the board. There's that groovy display. I'm gonna fire it up with this portable battery here. And it flashes the Helltech logo. This default program just scans for Wi-Fi and then just puts it in a ready mode. You actually have to activate the radio. Okay, so we're gonna be working through the docs at the Helltech website. And we're gonna start out with installing the driver here. Establish serial connection for Windows. You got to download the Scilab CP2104 driver. I have that handy here. It's going to run the install. Okay, it says it's ready to use. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this device up. Let's see if we found it. Okay, yeah, so there's our Silicon Labs on COM6 USB to UART bridge. So next in the steps, we're going to get Arduino ready. Okay, we need to get the Arduino ESP32 support. Let's launch Arduino. We're going to go into preferences and we're going to add a board manager URL apparently. Okay, that's the URL that we need. Now, go to Tools, Board, Board Manager, and we find that Helltech ESP32, and install it. So here we go. Here we go. Install that. And there's some framework there. Now we want to download the Helltech ESP32 library. library, manage libraries. Okay, that's installed now. Select the correct board you have connected to the computer and select the correct COM part. Let's take a look. Okay, we've got some Helltech. Laura 32, I think that's the one we got. And we're going to select COM port 6. Get board info. That's always fun. So your examples for Helltech LoRa 32 are here. Yeah, so I've loaded this OLED LoRa sender sketch, set the correct band to the 915, and we're gonna go ahead and upload this sketch and see what happens. 
This can take a while and I've cropped out some of the paint drying scenes. Okay, so it just says it's sending packets right now. We're going to have to load up our other LoRa board with the LoRa receiver and see what happens there. Well, we're going to load that other LoRa sketch here. Oh, lead LoRa receiver. Again, we'll set the band. Okay, let's upload that sketch. This can take a while and I've cropped out some of the paint drying scenes. Okay, so here you can see the receiver is waiting for incoming data. So let's go ahead and power up our sender. There we go, it's booting up. Oh, sending packet. Sending packet one. Sending packet two. Sending packet three, four. Here we see hello four, hello five. Hello 6, Hello 7, 8, so basically <laughs> we've just done Hello World over the LoRa radio at 900 megahertz. Hello 12, sending packet 14, Hello 14, 15, that's pretty cool. We're going to be working more with these LoRa boards. Up next will be a range test. All right, thank you very much. Shotoku Tech, please subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thank you very much.